Having an inclusive workplace is all about valuing diversity and difference and being open to new experiences. One of the things I really like about Clarion is that every week I find out something different. And it's usually just by talking to people and listening to what they have to say. And uh, so this is, a, this is a fantastic initiative and I'm delighted to be able to support it. Hi. Hi. <laughs> My mum is from Zambia, where I was born, and then my dad is from Nigeria. With that mixture of culture in, in the house, there was a lot of, lot of competition, which is great, but it also allowed me to learn about my culture quite a lot because they were quite insistent on us knowing exactly where we came from. So like food's a big tradition, like in my family, like we cook all the like famous Caribbean food. Cultures that I grew up with, um, I think it mainly centers around food and, um, and music. Every Sunday, we used to go around to my granddad's, the whole family, and he used to do Gary and pepper soup. There's a distinct kind of expectation that you respect. There's respect to your elders. And everybody was your uncle and aunt. In my culture, in my Yoruba tribe, we call um, this house at Fila. We wear them at um, our various occasions. It goes on one's head. Hope it brings out the shirt. <laughs> the side in which you wear it shows your relationship status. I grew up in an age where TV wasn't it wasn't, wasn't a big deal and there wasn't a lot of role models on TV. So I think my role model would have been my uncle. My mum. Yeah, my mum and dad. I honestly think it's my parents. My mum. <laughs> She's my hero as well. <laughs> it's my mum, the first uh, one that came to mind. And she was a very hardworking woman, a retired teacher now. And every day she encourages you, do your best and uh, make sure wherever you are, you are representing the family well. Okay, okay, yep. There's many microaggressions that um, I've experienced, so I'm sure people can relate to the one where you walk into a lift where it's yourself and maybe a, a European lady, um, and she clutches her bag like you're going to um, rob her. I kind of feel like maybe security are like following me maybe more than other people, I don't know. People asking you about cultural things that they think you should be a specialist on, so, assuming that you like hip-hop music because you're black? In the past, I've definitely felt underestimated and overlooked in the workplace. And it can be really damaging because it can make you feel insecure in your own abilities. Um, you start to doubt whether you are doing a good job or not. A good example of how that worked was, I was going to a property with one of my staff, because at that time I was a manager. I was invited because the tenant wanted a manager to make a decision. So I came to the property with my surveyor and knocked on the door. The lady opened the door, said who we were, allowed my colleague to go in, my staff, and said, no, you're not coming in. When my, when my thoughts or when my um, experiences have been belittled or it's been played down as not being as such a big deal, Yes, or well maybe what you experienced wasn't what you actually experienced, it was probably something else. I think there needs to be, everybody talks about this, more representation at senior levels. Having a diverse leadership offers you know, diverse opinions, it offers a different perspective, different experiences, and that can influence decisions that are made. I would say understanding, understanding of everybody's, of everyone's differences, accepting differences as being a great thing and not something to be looked upon or frowned upon. Race is a social construct. Everybody has an ethnicity, whether you're European, you're African, you're Asian, everybody has an ethnicity, everybody doesn't have a race. So if we acknowledge that race is a social construct, we need to actually change the definition of what race is. I feel in order to be heard 
or to be seen or to be represented, we've got to step up out of our comfort zone. People sometimes are aggressive because they don't understand um, the other culture. But I think um, there's been a progression from where it was to what, what it is now. And we can only hope that it, you know, it keeps growing that way. Ha, 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 ha.